Hi everyone! So today's our core value assembly and it's going to be very similar to our usual assembly that we have in school. Now rather than being on Zoom, which is what we've used since September, it's online. And this is because we have lots of children learning at home. We also have children learning in school, so that way everyone gets to see it. Okay, so before I start our assembly and I share all our core value champions, I'm going to say a big thank you to parents who are supporting lots of children with their learning at home. Now, I understand that a lot of you are juggling your own work and younger siblings as well as supporting children learn. So thank you for that. We, teachers wouldn't be able to do what they're doing without your support. I will say at any point, parents, if you have any feedback or any suggestions how we can improve and move forward um, in this new way of working, please email your class teacher. Okay, so we have uh, had some absolutely amazing learning produced this week, both at school and at home. It's been fantastic to see. Um, if you do produce any amazing learning at home and you'd like your teacher to see, I know you are putting it into your learning books every week, but if you would like to email your teachers any learning, that's absolutely amazing, that will brighten their day. And next week in Mrs Bywater's assembly, she will be sharing some examples of this fantastic learning. Okay, so self-belief, which is our core value of this half term. Now, I know Miss Irwin talked to you about self-belief earlier this week, but what is self-belief? Now, to me, it's a little bit more than just believing in yourself, because that's what it means, doesn't it, self-belief? You believe in what you can do. But it's more than just having the confidence. For me, it's about learning from your mistakes, it's about being resilient. It's about never giving up. It's about keep on trying no matter what. Because nobody gets it right the first time and we all make mistakes. And actually, none of us are perfect. So for me, self-belief is more than just being confident and believing. It's about knowing that you can get things wrong. And it's about understanding that that's part of the process. And it's also about learning from your mistakes. Now, in a moment, when I share the nominations from the teachers, they've been choosing and they've been looking for children this week who understand how important it is to make mistakes and how we learn from them and how we improve all the time. So I want to read you a quick story now. And it links to this because it's called The Girl Who Never Made Mistakes. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know if there's such thing Okay, so it says on the blurb, Beatrice Bottomwell has never, not once, made a mistake. She never forgets her maths homework, she never wears Mitch Max socks, and she always wins the yearly talent show at school. In fact, the entire, entire town calls her the girl who never makes mistakes. What will happen if one day she makes a huge mistake in front of everyone? Okay, let's see then. For Beatrice Bottomwell, Friday began like any other day. She matched her socks and of course she put on her shoes on the proper feet. She remembered to feed her hamster, Humbert, his favourite fruit food, broccoli. And when she made a sandwich for her brother Carl's lunch, she used exactly the same amount of peanut butter and jam. When she stepped outside to greet her fans, she didn't forget to say good morning and thank you. They asked if she made her bed. She had. They asked if she'd forgot to do her maths homework. Nope. What about tonight's talent show? They asked. I'm ready, said Beatrice with a smile. After all, her juggling act had won three years in a row. Most people in town didn't even know Beatrice's name. They just called her the girl who never made mistakes because for as long as anyone could remember, she never did. 
Unlike Beatrice, Carl, her brother, made lots of mistakes. He ate his crayons, he danced with his hands and he played piano with his feet. Carl loved to make mistakes. At school, Beatrice was on the cooking team with her two best friends, Millie and Sarah. To make a giant rhubarb muffins, they needed four eggs. Beatrice went to the fridge and carefully chose the biggest, eggiest egg she could find. But on her way back, her legs slipped in front of her. The eggs went flying. Beatrice was about to make her first mistake, but she didn't. That was close, she thought. For the rest of the school day, Beatrice could not stop thinking about her almost mistake. On the way home from school, Beatrice watched Millie and Sarah ice skating on the park. Come and join us, said Millie. It's fun, said Sarah. Beatrice watched them slip and slide on the ice. Millie and Sarah laughed as they wobbled on the ice. No thanks, said Beatrice. At supper, Beatrice barely touched her food. Is everything all right? asked her father. I'm worried I'll mess up tonight, said Beatrice, and everyone will be watching. All right, you don't make mistakes, he said with a smile. Beatrice tried to smile too. After supper, Beatrice got ready for the talent show. First, she woke Humbert, her hamster, from his nap. Next, she got the salt shaker from the kitchen table. Finally, she filled a balloon with water. The school hall was packed. Beatrice felt her st stomach jumping around inside. She's getting nervous. Beatrice waited for her juggling music to begin. That's her, the girl who never makes mistakes, said a woman. Oh, oh, well, she's just perfect, said a man. When the music started, she threw her hamster into the air. She was juggling with a hamster. Next, she added the salt shaker and finally the water balloon. Beatrice didn't miss a beat. So she was juggling in front of everyone with her hamster, a balloon and a salt shaker. But Beatrice noticed something odd about the salt shaker. The specks falling out of it were not white. What do you think it might be? And then the hamster went. At you! Uh oh, what was it? It wasn't salt. Humbert was so surprised by the sneeze that he grabbed the water balloon with his claws and pop! Humbert, pieces of water balloon, and the pepper rained down on Beatrice. For the first time in a long time, as anyone could remember, Beatrice made a mistake. And it was a big one. There she is, look. Everything on her face and on her head in front of everyone. The music stopped. Beatrice didn't know what to do. Cry? Run off the stage? The crowd sat stunned. They couldn't believe that the girl who never made the mistake made a mistake. Beatrice looked up at her hamster. He looked back at her. His hamster fur was all soaked and speckled with bits of blue. Beatrice let out a giggle. The giggle grew into a chuckle and the chuckle became a laugh. There she is. I'm starting laughing. The people in the crowd looked at each other and then back at Beatrice. They began to giggle, then chuckle, then finally roar with laughter. Beatrice and the audience laughed until they couldn't remember why they were laughing. That night, Beatrice slept better than she ever had. In the morning, no fans greeted her, but, she got, but when she got dressed, for no reason at all, she put a polka dot sock on one foot and a plain sock on the other. Beatrice and Carl made sandwiches. This time, they put peanut butter and jam on the outside of the sandwich. They called it an inside-out sandwich. 
Lunch was messy, but delicious. Later, Beatrice found Millie and Sarah skating in the park. They fell a lot and laughed. Now, people no longer call her the girl who never makes mistakes. They just call her Beatrice. I really like that story. I know it's a little bit silly because you wouldn't really juggle with a hamster and a salt shaker, would you? But it's what, what lesson do you think Beatrice learned in that story? Hmm, have a think. For me, I think she's learned a lot from making a mistake. And we do, we all learn from making mistakes. And we all need to know that actually, it's good to make mistakes. If we never made mistakes, we would never learn. And we'd never get better. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at this week core value champions. Now this week, it's a mixture of children who have been learning from home and children who have been learning in school. So let's have a look who your teachers have chosen. So in foundation, in Miss Senior's class, we've got Namita, who has shown lots of dedication to her home learning this week. And she's put so much effort into the activities and her learning pack and the work online. Well done, Namita. And like a lot of children will be hearing about today, it takes a lot of getting used to, and it does take a lot of dedication and hard work to get used to learning um, in a different way from home. So well done you, and I can see some of the fantastic learning you have done there. Okay, so in foundation in Miss Cartoon's class, we've got Hussein who has been working really hard with his home learning, and I can see the pictures there, you working away really concentrating and trying your hardest and your teachers are really happy with you and they're really pleased at how you've been listening to the instructions and listening to what to do and how you've engaged at home because again it's really hard to focus when you're not in your usual classroom with your usual teacher and everything around you so well done Hussein. In Miss Gila and Miss Willis's class, we've got Modassa, who's worked really hard on his phonics this week. And this is something Modassa doesn't always find easy, but he's really persevered. And because of that, he's made great progress. Well done, Modassa. And that links directly into what we've been saying this week, doesn't it? About learning from your mistakes, having that self-belief and not giving up. Well done, Modassa, you superstar. In Y1BB, Miss Brown and Mr Smith's class, we've got Amelia has been chosen as the core value champion this week. She's been learning from her home and she's found out it can be hard, but she has took on the challenge and she's produced some amazing learning. So this week in literacy, Amelia was set a task to draw the story map of Jack and the Beanstalk. She's put so much effort into the story map well done. I can see that. There's a copy there of the story map and it's very easy to read the story from that map. It's very visual. It's very clear. It looks amazing. Oh, I love it. I can like the, the giant up the top. Well done, Amelia. And this week in 2LN, the core value champion there is Isa. Well done, Isa, for your fantastic winter poem. I know you haven't had a chance to publish it yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing that next week. Well done, Isa. In 2CH, Kayan, you have really impressed your teachers this week with how you've engaged in your remote learning. And I, myself, am also amazed by the artwork you produced. So in year two, you've been learning how to improve your artwork by using feedback. So you can see there, Kion has worked really hard to develop his art skills. You can see his first draft of a tree. Can you see there? And then you can see his final draft. That is amazing. That's the same child, two different pictures, but how they've, again, learned from mistakes, maybe, persevered, not given up. I think you've had a lot of self-belief there, Kion. Well done. In 3BD, in 3BD, in Miss Dyson's class, we have Montada. And Montada has shown an excellent learning attitude this week. 
And he has definitely shown self-belief, learning from his mistakes and an another child who's persevered. So at the beginning of the week, you found your multiplication challenges quite difficult. And they are, aren't they? But you persevered, you didn't give up, you showed that self-belief. And now you are an absolute superstar with your multiplication. Well done, Montada. In 3CH, we have Nagla. And Nagla has been outstanding with her dedication to remote learning. And now she completed and returned all the work we set over Christmas, in addition to doing lots more learning and reading at home. And Nagla, you've emailed your teachers asking for help when you need them. If you're having a problem logging on to Purple Marsh or anything like that, you've been taking on advice, managing to log on and you have produced some great learning. I know your teachers have been really, really impressed with that. Absolutely fantastic. In 4AC, we have Theo. Theo, you've had an absolutely excellent attitude to learning this week. You have consistently gone above and beyond and worked hard to challenge yourself. That's what I like to hear. Also been a fantastic team player and you've been helping other children with their work as well. Well done. Absolutely amazing, Theo. Keep that up. In 4LC this week, we have Rehan. So like a lot of children, Rehan struggled slightly to get used to remote learning again, but he has used his self-belief and he's persevered with all his activities. He's adapted his, his day to a timetable that suits him. And he's working hard to complete the tasks at his own pace. And Miss Cofrello is really proud of you, Rehan. I know you're missing school, like, like all of us, but you're not letting that stop you. Well done. In Y5JB, we've got Malik. Malik has impressed the Y5 team in school this week. He's taken on challenges with a smile and he's persevered to learn through the tricky bits, realising that if he gives it time and a positive mindset, he can even achieve things that he thought were impossible. What a superstar. We are proud of you. Again, what an amazing example of somebody showing self-belief. Well done, Malik. In 5AH, Mr Hatterson's class, we've got Farah. Farah has an amazing week. She's impressed everyone in school with her hard work, her dedication and how she aims high. And to be fair, Farah always aims high to achieve more and more. And Mr Hattersley and all the Y5 team are really proud of how you've adapted to the current situation. But you continue to work as hard as you possibly can. Well done, Farah. So in Y6GF, Miss Frost class, the core value champion for self-belief and learning from mistakes is Shaquille. And Miss Frost has said she cannot express how proud she is of Shaquille for the progress he's made throughout the year. Shaquille is now a role model for kindness, empathy, politeness and maturity. He sets a high standard in work. He supports his peers and is always complimentary of staff around him. That sound, That is absolutely amazing, Shaquille. And this week, you've also shown that you're an exceptional artist too. Look at this. This is his version of Frida Kahlo's Still Life with Parrot and Fruit. That is outstanding. I can see how, how hard you've tried there. Well done for trying so hard. You're a superstar. And you've certainly had self-belief there. That is amazing. Well done. In 6AW, in Miss Wallace's class, We've got Sasha, you've been chosen this week for the Core Value Champion. You've had a fantastic week in class and you've put great effort into the perspective drawing you've been doing. You've persevered and you've produced a piece of work that both Miss Wallace and you were proud of. Well done. You can do anything when you put your mind to it. Never give up. Exactly. Again, self-belief. I'm going to have a look at that drawing next week. And in 6RK, Mr. Kerman's class, Mr. Kerman's co-value champion this week is Raya because she has made a fantastic start to learning from home and has submitted some excellent pieces of work on Purple Mash. Well done, Raya, for working so hard. And again, for all of you who are learning at home, we understand it's not easy and there's a lot to get used to. So well done to all of you who have been persevering, 
and putting all that hard work in and again having that self-belief well done okay so that's it for this week i want to say well done to all of our core value champions and next week your teachers will be looking out for children who use their self-belief to apply new skills be interesting to see who's chosen and what you're chosen for so have a great week continue with your home learning if you're learning from home and remember we're still here at school if you need us so continue to email your teachers if you need to call school we're still here have a great weekend and i'll see you all next week goodbye